Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. Any questions as to what it is that I do, services that I provide, and Patreon, all of that fun stuff, down below in the description. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into Water Sign. Um, this is your weekly reading, so for Cancers, Pisces, and Scorpio. Hmm, I was about to forget Scorpio, huh? Um, we're going to go ahead and lower the camera down to the candle and the water. So let's see what we have. So, um... Water signs, there is there's this feeling of regret, feeling of wanting and wanting to revisit the past, wanting to mend what was done, what was done wrong. Meaning there was either somebody that you heard intentionally or unintentionally, regardless of what it is, but there was somebody that you either used harsh words for um towards or somebody that you really did wrong, you did dirty. Um this could include um or involve a third party situation. Um regardless of whatever it is, um at the moment you are being kind of like hunted down when it comes to your dreams and your thoughts and you know you're constantly reminded of this person and you're kind of getting your karma back kind of getting all the things that you did towards this person is being done to you not just by the person that you thought was going to be the one or by you know who you thought you were going to, you were choosing that was the correct or the right choice but by everyone in your life you're starting to see and realize that a lot of people um that you actually um listen to and that you actually went ahead and follow their advice never really had your um your you like your good intention behind it um and in essence all they really wanted to do was to keep you away from being happy they kind of felt that if they themselves couldn't be happy then why why should you be allowed to be happy like if i'm miserable then you should be miserable with me and slowly but surely all of these things are being revealed to you and you're having a really hard time because this person that um you left behind was and had always been there for you and had meaning the key word because this person um took all of your actions took all of your words and took everything that you show them over and over again as a validation that they meant nothing in your life that they were they were basically replaceable so they went ahead and they follow their own you know they try and discover or try to live their life without you in it and try to find joy try to find passion in life try to find just how to live again and how to bring life into their surroundings and how to embrace and enjoy everything because you are no longer going to be a part of their journey you are no longer going to be a part of their path and now that you're realizing that it's it's hitting you pretty hard this person could have either moved on with somebody else already and is um in a connection that is making them happy or this person has multiple suitors of um, people that are offering this person true love and true commitment and there's a couple of those offers that this person is actually contemplating on actually taking on um, for whatever the reason you're having a hard time communicating to this person or you're not wanting to admit to yourself that you were wrong or not wanting to take accountability on your part. I feel that whoever the person is has has come clean and has admitted their faults, has admitted their wrongs and situation, whether it was a misunderstanding or a miscommunication or whether it was that they were too jealous, whatever it was that this person did to to help in the connection kind of um, falling apart. This person has admitted it to themselves and to you as well in the past, but you wanted this person to understand you. You wanted this person to follow your lead and only your lead. You didn't want this person to be an individual. You didn't want this person to go ahead and have a mind on their own or to go ahead and do the things that they felt brought them fulfillment or brought them joy. And the more that you try to control this person, the more this person went ahead and decided that their true happiness and their peace of mind was worth way more than having you on their side or next to them, I should say, because you were truly, um, to this person, you were never truly on their side. It's like everything that they did or everything that they pursue, you were always against. 
because you didn't want this person either to shine or you didn't want other people to see the true beauty or the true essence of that person. So now you are here, you're contemplating and you're like, um, how can I get my foot back in the door? How can I get on this person's good grace again? How can I get this person's attention? And the old tactics that you have used in the past are no longer working. Um, this person is not being open towards you. This person is not giving more than what you give, but this person is also not giving in to those like petty arguments or petty anything. They're just like, okay, okay. And just kind of like letting it go because they don't, whatever lessons they had to learn with you, um, through the process of being in a connection with you, they have learned it. Um, and they no longer wish to restart that cycle. Now, you were given plenty of opportunities. You were given plenty of warnings from, you know, either your spirit guides, your angels, um, to go ahead and mend what had been wrong. And every time that you were given this opportunity, you abused it, you misused it. And therefore, moving forward, learning the lessons that you were supposed to learn or mending the wrong may not be possible with this person anymore. There's going to, you're going to have to go ahead and relearn and restart those cycles and other connections. Um, unless you're willing to go within yourself and really admit to yourself where you have, where you have wronged others and what patterns or where is the root of that. If you ever felt that by this person, by being with this person and accepting this person for who they truly are, was in a way going to, like they were gonna overcome you, if that makes any sense. They were, they were going to be better than you or they were gonna be more than you and that's not what the person wanted. The person actually wanted to work with you. The person actually wanted to grow with you. And, mm, you're starting to see part of that, but not as in, in, its, in its entirely because you're still not willing to let go of that control you wanted to have over the other individual. So let's go ahead and let's clarify. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull a card for Cancer, one for Scorpio, and one for Pisces. And these are going to be the cards that are used on for the extended Zodiac readings that I have on Patreon. And that information is down below in the description. Cancer, now we need Scorpio. Scorpios, if you guys are having a hard time admitting things to yourself, I mean, nobody can force you. But the longer you resist in admitting your faults, or the longer you resist your part that you play in certain situation, the longer it is for you to move out of this cycle. <laughs> yeah, you do not have to agree. Um, Pisces. So Cancer, we have the Spirit of Sword, Swords for you. So it's actually kind of funny because there's a Scorpio on here, but um, a Scorpion here, and then there's like some feathers here, and then there's like a, and then there's fire and stuff coming out. But Pisces, this is Pisces, this is your card, and it's more of allowing yourself, like you're in a place where you really want to allow yourself to see where you were wrong. You really want to allow yourself to grow and learn from this, this experience, regardless of how difficult it may be to admit certain things to yourself. Ooh. Scorpio, we have the moon chariot. So you're in the space of wanting to just go ahead and offer something, wanting to go ahead and you know, speak from your heart, speak the truth, 
but knowing that even if this person forgives you, even if this person listens to you, the chances of this person actually taking an offer from you are very low because again, this person may have already gotten other offers or is getting other offers and it's actually contemplating on taking one of those offers. And then Pisces, Lady of Swords. And to me, this represents more of an internal battle and probably not wanting to accept, um, not wanting to even acknowledge and still wanting to be in some type of energy of still want, wanting to blame others because you feel that you do no wrong. You feel that the way, the way that you handle things um, was the correct way. And it may have been at the moment that it felt that way, but you're realizing whether you want to or not that all of your actions have consequences. And you're going to have to go ahead and and deal with those consequences now. It's really just that simple. Um, well, guys, thank you for all the love and support. And again, if you're interested in finding out more for this week, go ahead and check out Patreons. Have a good one, guys. Bye.